Hey, let's go over doing RDOs, but with a plate underneath the front of your toes. Now, I'm sure you've seen this variation before and you've probably done it, but you don't really know why you just saw it being done. So now I'm gonna take the time to explain to you what this does. Now, when you perform an RDO, it is a hip hinging movement and you are going to target your glutes and your hamstrings. What placing the plates underneath your toes does is it places more emphasis on your hamstrings. And it does this because when you step on the plate, it causes your ankle to go into dorsiflexion, meaning that your toes are coming towards your shin. When that happens, the whole posterior chain elongates. When it elongates, it stretches more. When it stretches more, you then have to work that much harder to activate it because now the distance between the origin and insertion, which is how muscles contract, is larger. And since the hamstrings cross the knee joint, by placing your toes on top of a plate, it is elongating the angle at the knee as well as elongating the angle of the hip. So there you have more hamstring activation. Now, the hip hinge. The hip hinge is simple. You wanna shoot your glutes back towards the wall behind you. And you don't wanna hunch the top of your spine and you don't wanna squat down to do this. So place your hands where your hips are and play around with how you can actually eat your hands. And by eat your hands, I mean close this angle. See, this is all hip hinging, hip hinging. The more that you hinge, the more you feel your hamstrings pull. The more you feel your hamstrings pull, the more effective your RDO will be with this variation. So let's get it done. 